of this year. The weather is pretty, pretty shitty. At least just today. Let's hope it breaks. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if we all bow our heads for a moment of silence for our Hall of Famers Leroy Neiman, Jimmy Bivens, Emmanuel Stewart, Carmen Basilio, and the loss of Hector Macho Camacho. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, born on April 2nd, 1927, on Main Street, in the town of Canastota, New York. A young man by the name of Carmen Basilio had a dream. In grade school, the teacher asked the students what they wanted to grow up to be. Basilio proudly declared he fully intended on becoming a world boxing champion, and the class laughed. But his dream became a reality. Carmen became one of the shining boxing stars of the golden 50s, winning the welterweight crown twice and then winning the middleweight title from Sugar Ray Robinson. He was in the fight of the year five years in a row, 1955, 56, 57, 58, and 59. He was our hero and provided Canastota tremendous bragging rights, even if he didn't brag himself. Whenever asked, where are you from? He'd proudly say, a small village outside of Syracuse called Canastota, hometown of Carmen Basilio. That sense of pride remains as strong today as it did almost 60 years ago. Carmen is survived by his wife, Josie, and they were the Hall of Fame's biggest supporters never missing an event. They were truly the ambassadors for this village and for this Hall of Fame. Carmen passed away on November 7th, 2012. He was 85 years old. The sports world stopped to remember the legendary battler and all that he accomplished. For us here, our feeling was like losing your grandfather. Our hearts are heavy, and our memories are many. For Canastota, he was and will always remain our Carmen, the small town boy who made good. Oh, rich like me, 
somebody and to find that gem and help us help us make it grow but all of our businesses our restaurants our hotels everybody here is ready to help you anything you can do enjoy our parks enjoy our museums enjoy our fine dining most of all enjoy the boxing hall of fame and welcome to canastota thank you thank you rick now ladies and gentlemen please welcome our new madison county tourism director mr scott flaherty simply want to say have fun this weekend. Just to reiterate what Rick said, enjoy your time here in Canastota. We're here to meet these legends, get their autographs, hear their stories. Uh, enjoy your time, have fun, and uh, I hope to see you again next year and maybe a weekend or two in between. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on the year eve of our 25th anniversary, uh, we all know, all those of you that come year after year, you know the work and the volunteers and the effort that takes place uh, year in and year out to uh, make this happen. We uh, have one gentleman, we have one gentleman that uh, we, we, we all uh, shake our heads at times. We come off that throughway at 11 o'clock or midnight and that light's still on and there's one car uh, sitting there in the parking lot. And uh, some years, uh, 
the year itself takes you through the weekend uh, with all the work, but it, it, some, some years are easier than others, and some years it takes a lot of effort, a lot of work, and, and to take the uh, Hall of Fame to the next level uh, is going to take a lot of work, and we have some exciting news about all that, but ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Mr. Ed Brophy. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Congratulate the class of 2013. It's going to be a great weekend. It's great for the village of Canastota, the Boxing Hall of Fame, to roll out the R style red carpet for you. So, congratulations to the class of 2013. I'd like to welcome back the returning Hall of Famers and special guests. Many who've uh, been returning year after year, and some uh, new champions have made their way to Canastota. It's great to see their excitement. So, uh, we welcome them all and we will try our best to show you the hospitality of the volunteers and the community of Canastota. Speaking of the volunteers, uh, we have many volunteers that have been doing it for many years, and uh, then there's new ones that have jumped in, and we've just been blessed with all of their support and help throughout the year. There's probably 300 volunteers, there's 10 different community organizations or more that combine more volunteers of theirs that host luncheons and other different functions for the champions. It's our way in Canastota to say, Boxing is the best sport there is. It's the oldest sport. It needs to be preserved. It needs to be honored. And we do it year after year and throughout the year, seven days a week. Boxing deserves that. Also, I want to mention throughout the weekend, the volunteers are wearing volunteer tags. Maybe you might want to say thanks or shake their hand. And many of you have come back and you visit with them. They look forward at different meetings. They always say they enjoy the champions, of course. But they enjoy the fans that come back year after year and meeting new ones. There's that bond, that relationship, when they see somebody from California or from England and they look forward to revisit again. So you might want to thank them for what they do. They look forward to seeing you. Also, those volunteers this weekend are wearing wristbands. And it's a tribute to our Carmen Basilio. It says, Canastota's champion, Carmen Basilio. The spirit of Carmen is with us throughout the weekend. All the volunteers are wearing them. Everybody who attends. Tomorrow night's Welterweight Warrior Night that's going to be dedicated, dedicated to Carmen will get one at the Friday night up at the Rusty Rail, a wristband of Carmen Basile. So he's with us in spirit. We love him. I'm going to tell you a quick story. When I was young, maybe about seven years old, and I'd go to the downtown diner in our small village, my mother and father would sit there and the door would open up and who would walk in? The legend Carmen Basilio. He'd walk down and all of a sudden he'd sit with my mother and father and start talking. My knees would start shaking. I'm sitting, I'm sitting with Carmen Basilio. And he was so nice and everything he did made us feel so great. When you walked into a coffee shop or a diner, and for those who were raised in this village, and Carmen would walk in, it was just so special because Carmen would just treat you like you're his brother, cousin, uncle, whatever it was. And to this day, when Carmen passed away, there was always that same feeling. And uh, my boyhood, growing up in Canastota, was special because of Carmen. And then also, I was very lucky because his nephew, Billy Backus, who became the welterweight champion in 1970, happened to live next door to me, and I asked him to be my godfather. And he's right here, I want to say Billy Backus. I, so, Billy, carried the tradition of what Canastota is all about, champions. So again, I want to say thanks for coming back to Canada. You've got a great weekend in front of you. I want to thank our sponsors. Many of the sponsors are going to be recognized on big screen TVs throughout the weekend. They're on our billboards, our different sponsorship uh, letterheads, and everything we do. Without our sponsors who are helping to cover the cost and the people buying the tickets, it cannot be done. But most of all, it's the spirit that exists here in Canastota, the village, the town, the residents, the fans that are coming to feel the spirit of boxing. It's the greatest sport there is. Welcome. Thank you.